We've done part one, we've done part two, and now it's time for part three. Hey, what's up guys, my name's Dorm, and welcome back to another RPG Maker Empty tutorial. Today, we're gonna be doing weapon skills from Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Now, okay, technically this isn't really a part, I mean, it is a part three for weapon gains in general. However, it's, it's technically a split route from the first part. So the first part can go either to the second part or the third part. Yeah. That was the intention. I should probably have made that more clear and more in those videos, but yeah, today we're doing weapon skills where upon getting certain weapon experience, which by the way is tied to the weapon itself and not the actor. So you can't have like it's not based on the actor's sword rank or something. It's based on a weapon rank of that specific weapon. Uh you get a skill, and if you have multiple of the same skill, it merges. Which I will demonstrate right now. Now this is arguably gonna be easier than the previous two because since well actually I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, so we only need one common event and actually three variables. Well, three variables per weapon and one common event for the actor itself. So we don't need multiple common events for the same actor, which definitely saves a lot of a uh, common event space, I suppose. But uh, our variables are, if I can just pull them up, uh, Room Fire Machete, Room Fire Machete Level, and Room Fire Machete Max. Room Fire Machete is just basically the, the amount of experience Room Fire has in that machete. Machete Level is, helps determine which, how many skills you've learned with the machete already. And Machete Max is, is for display purposes, and also for... Actually, it pretty much is just for display purposes. It'll say how much experience you need for the next level. But yeah, we only need one common event, and it's not it's not an automatic common event. We're in the in the tutorial. We're gonna put it at the end of where we gain machete experience, which is just like talking to an event. However, normally you would put this at the end of a battle or something. Uh, that should be uh, taken into consideration. Uh, it should be taken into consideration that uh, these weapons are better suited for when actors can only use certain actors can only use this one each weapon. So like what we did in the last tutorial, basically, where Roomfire was only able to use machetes and Harold was able to use rapiers, which is why we we're using the machete for this example. Uh, but now we're going to explain all these skills. So we have cleave, a basic sword attack, and we have three levels of fire. As I said earlier. When you, when you have more than one of the same skill, it'll just increase to the next level. I will get more into that later, but in Tokyo Mirage Sessions, when, uh, when a skill is merged, so when it gets upgraded, its damage will either increase, uh, it will either increase its damage or decrease its cost. In here though, I just made it so that MP cost decreases. Uh, but with machete, room fire at level at at three experience with machete, so attacking three times with machete in some shape or form, he will gain cleave. At level uh, at eight experience, he'll get fire. I think it's thirteen. No, it's twelve. When it's seven for the second level, it's twelve for the third one. He'll get fire again. But since he has fire already, it'll just merge into fire plus one. And at level 18, he'll get another fire, which, since he has fire plus one at that at that point, he'll get fire plus two. All right, it's time to go over the common events, which is probably the most complicated part of this tutorial. Uh, here we have our common events. There are going to be some conditional branches that are actually incorrect in this common event, because for this common event specifically, these conditional branches are just formatted this way. However, normally you would just use this last common event, which I'll explain soon. Alright, at this point, I should mention that there will be an auto run event where Room 5's machete level will be set to 1. Because the max is 5, and you'll have 4 skills by then, because you level up 4 times. Anyways, we want to have our first conditional branch to see if what Room Fire has equipped. So, basically, if Room Fire equipped machete, then everything else happens. And if you want to use more weapons, you just make another uh, conditional branch for those specific weapons. If, if Roomfire's Machete level is 1, which, again, is set by an auto-run event, 
Nothing basically happens unless if room fires machete is greater than three. Now we're gonna play a sound effect. It'll say room fires learn cleave. Go gain cleave. We'll set the machete level to two so that we can go on to the next skill. And by the way, the machete level is so that we don't have the same uh, sequence of events occur multiple times. Then we're gonna set the max to seven so that, well, since you're past the first level, you don't wanna. You'll be at like something like maybe three out of three or something. If you you have you want to change it so that it's more accurate, you know. But yeah, the max for the second the second level is seven. So name basically applies here. Machete level is two. Machete machete is greater than seven. Play sound effect. Learn fire. We'll add fire. Set the level three. Set the max is twelve. This is where things start to get closer to what we actually want. Machete is level. Level, machine level is 3, experience is 12, Room Fire has learned fire already, Room Fire has upgraded fire to 5 plus 1, so we'll lose the fire skill and gain 5 plus 1. However, if he has not learned fire, he'll just learn fire, basically. So, you definitely want to prioritize this kind of common of conditional branch over this kind. However, there is one more that we want to go over. You should only use this conditional branch if you can only upgrade skills once. Uh, we want to set the level to 4, and the max to 18. Finally, we have our actual, like, definitive version of the conditional branches, which is, if, if room fire's machete level equals 4, and machete experience is at greater than 18, if room fire's learned fire plus 1, room fire will have upgraded fire plus 1 to fire plus 2, we'll lose fire plus 1, and gain fire plus 2. But then we use the same conditional branch that we use here, in the in the in the else what do you call it? The else branch. If room fire has learned fire, and then everything else that happens. Then we'll set machete level 5, but there's no need to set the max anymore because you're maxed out on the specific weapon. Alright, now is the venting process of the tutorial, and we're gonna go over not that much actually. Uh in the preview, you might have okay, in the preview nothing happened. But I moved the common event switches to this specific event here because it makes it easier and does not collide with the auto, the other auto run event. Actually, I'm just, I think I'm just saying that because that's for the next tutorial, not this one. Oh well. Uh, we just have some info boxes here about what levels that the skills will be gained at for Machete. Uh, we have our actual event here, but we also have this auto event, auto run event I mentioned before, which was. Setting room fire's machete level to one, and then we have this event, which basically, room fire has equipped the machete because we we don't really want it to like happen when room fire does not have the machete. Uh, room fire will gain five experience, as it states. It'll add five to variable, and then it'll proceed with the room fire weapon common events. Again, you should definitely put this try playing this event after battle or using an actual parallel common event. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're only using this guy to demonstrate the skill learning and stuff. Alright, it's time for the... Okay, that went way too far. It's time for the demonstration part of the tutorial. Uh, we're gonna do basically what happened last episode, uh, last episode, last tutorial, where we're gonna actually uh, increase the sword rank, our generic sword rank, for the sake of being able to equip Machete. That's all. Doesn't really matter too much for this tutorial specifically, but uh, we're gonna look at these random info boxes. These are machete skills at 3 EXP, 7 EXP, 12 EXP, and 18 EXP. And gaining multiple of the same skill will cause the skill to increase in level, either increasing power or decreasing cost. This is actually a lie for this tutorial. This is actually from Token Mirage Sessions, but oh well. We're talking to this guy. We get five experience in machete. And we have Learn Cleave. If we go to our skills right now, we'll see that we have Cleave and our Machete levels 5 out of 7. If we talk to him again, we get 5 more experience. And we learn Fire. Go to our skills again, we get Fire, and we're at 10 out of 12 for both of them. What's next? We get another 5 experience, and get Fire plus 1. As you can see, we don't have Fire anymore, we have Fire plus 1, and it's 15 out of 18. And we finish it off with another 5 experience to get Fire plus 2. Once more, we check again, 20 out of 18, merge plus 2. And that is all for the demonstration. Alright, that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, we have a suggestion. 
which is, uh, I don't know what to call it actually. Level up growth, growth effects, level up growth rates, level growth rates. But uh, I'm pretty excited and I'm probably gonna record it tomorrow because otherwise I'm gonna forget all of it. But yeah, if you liked this video, please consider Duel's Legendary Like button or Staying in Place the Subscribe button. And with that, I say, see you guys and stay safe.